guys, welcome back to another video, and today I have a Spin Master Monster Jam unboxing and review video for you guys. And as you guys can tell from the title of this video, this is on the full entire mix of Mix 13. All nine trucks that are in that mix I have that I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing in this video. Um, now, I have done a full unboxing and review so far on Mix 9 and 10 for 2020. I have not done full reviews on Mix 11 and 12. Now, that is because there's actually still one truck that I need for Mix 11, which is the Split Paint Job Bounty Hunter. I have not been able to find that anywhere, but I did order that on eBay, and it should be here in the coming days, so I will probably do a Mix 11 unboxing and review video. Some of those trucks I already have opened, though, and then some of them are still in the package, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. And then uh, for Mix 12, I only have like two trucks from Mix 12 so far, but um, for Mix 13, I actually did not find these in stores. I got these from eBay in a lot. Um, I think it was like $80 or something like that. So honestly, I think it was worth it. Um, obviously, if I had found these in stores, I could have got it for like $40, basically like half the price. But I mean, just the Ride Truck Megalodon alone is going for like $35 to $40 on eBay. So I think it was worth it. Definitely a pretty good price for these trucks. And I've been looking for these for so long. So I decided to order it. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So now that we're a minute and a half into this video, what I'm going to basically be doing is showing you guys all of the trucks one by one, and then I will go back through and unbox them and review them. So um, without further ado, let's take a look at the back of the packaging. Again, this is from Mix 13. Now, of course, the truck that's in the package is not on the back, but the trucks that you guys can see on the back here is the Throwback Gravedigger, Backwards Bob, Reckless El Toro Loco, Superman, Tropical Thunder, Racing Stripes, Boneyard Zombie, and the Ride Truck Megalodon. So which truck is not on the back? It is Thrasher. Now, I'm very excited that Spin Master actually made Thrasher. I was not expecting this, but um, Thrasher is definitely a cool truck. Really happy they made that, but... I'm going to go more in-depth in the review in a moment, but now I'm just going to quickly just go through and show you guys all of them one by one in the package. So the next one is Tropical Thunder. Again, another truck that I was not expecting Spin Master to make, but I'm very happy that they did. So the next one is Superman. Honestly, same thing for this one. I was not expecting Spin Master to make that one as well, but they did, and I'm very happy about that. So the next one that we have here is Racing Stripes. Pretty much has the same body design as Horsepower and Sparkle Smash. Um, the next one here is my first ever Reckless truck, which is El Toro Loco. Like I said, I have two trucks for Mix 12, but neither of them are the Reckless Grave Digger. I still need that one, so this is my first ever Reckless truck. Um, so the next one that we have here is the Boneyard Zombie. My second ever Boneyard truck after uh, Grave Digger. Now, I'm not sure if I showed this one yet or not. I don't think I did, but it is the Grave Digger, the original Grave Digger from, I believe, 1982, if I'm not mistaken. Now, this next one here is one that I'm very excited about, which is Backwards Bob. Again, just like three other trucks in this mix, I was not expecting Spin Master to make this truck, but I'm very happy that they did. And then last but certainly not least, we have the Chase Peach, the Ride Truck Megalodon. Like I said before, this truck alone goes for like $35 to $40 on eBay. So getting this entire lot for $80 I think was honestly worth it. So uh, now what I'm going to do is go back through and unbox all of these trucks. So we're going to start off with... Probably my least favorite of the mix, but still a cool truck nonetheless, which is the Boneyard Series Zombie. So let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. Now, this one does not want to open very well, but here we go. Sorry if the lighting is off. I don't know why it does that sometimes. Probably because the lighting is coming from the window, which is like that way, the left side. is where the sunlight is coming from, but anyways, here's the truck right here. Let me actually just get out the bracelet really quickly. I'm not going to show the poster just because I don't really feel like it. But um, yeah, here is the uh, wristband that comes with it. So anyways, here's the truck. Now, I'm not really going to spend too much time reviewing this one only because the actual body of the truck is just the uh, normal zombie. Sorry that it keeps getting out of focus and stuff like that. Like I said, I don't know why it does that. But anyways, as you guys can see, just looking at the actual body of the truck, it is just the regular uh, zombie body. But the difference here to make it the Boneyard series is the roll cage, the tires, and the rims. So the roll cage and the tires are like a uh, tannish color, of course, supposed to be like bones, um, just like how it is on the Boneyard series Gravedigger truck that I reviewed back in Mix 10. So um, yeah, then the rims are red, 
as you guys can see right there, um, I think that is definitely a good color because obviously where it says zombie on the side is also in red, just like it has been for years now. So here's just a quick look at the Boneyard Gravedigger. I know just a quick little review on this truck, but it's only because the truck is the exact same. It's just the roll cage and the tires and the rims that are different. So um, yeah, there is one final look at zombie um, in focus there. So yeah, that is the first truck out of nine here for Mix 13. Now the next one that I am going to unbox and review is, man, I don't even know. I'm just going to pick a random one. We're going to go with Superman. I really don't even know what would be my second least favorite after Zombie. I don't know, but I'm just going to go with Superman. So here we go. Let's unbox it. Now again, like I said before, nothing against the Zombie. It's still a cool truck, but of course, I guess, I, I assume that most of you guys can agree with me that the other trucks in this mix are better, so... Let me just get out the wristband. I know it's not super important, but I do like to show them in the video. So it's just a blue one right there. So anyways, let's get into the review on the truck now. So here it is right here. So we'll start off with the uh, actual, actually we'll start off with the roll cage. Um, so it is a red roll cage. We have blue rims right there. So now on the actual truck on this side, we have the Monster Jam logo and of course the Superman logo right there. And then on the hood, we have the Superman logo as well. And then the other side is pretty much the same as the first one. We have the uh, Superman logo and the Monster Jam logo. Now on the top is where the truck gets really, really cool. As you guys can see, we have the uh, red Superman cape right there, which I think is awesome. Now this one does not come off like uh, the Man of Steel truck did with uh, Hot Wheels Monster Jam. The cape does not come off, as you guys can obviously see. Um, but yeah, on the back, it just says uh, something about DC Comics or something like that. I don't even know. I can hardly even read that. You guys probably can't even see that, so never mind. The lighting sucks too bad anyways, but um, anyways, here is one final look at the Superman truck. Not really not really too much detail, but I do think that it is an amazing truck by Spin Master because, I mean, you only got, like, the Superman logo, the Monster Gem logo, and the cape. Those are the uh, three main things to review on that truck, but, yeah, there is one last look at Superman. A very, very cool truck. I'm super happy that Spin Master made that one, and, yeah, a nice truck to add to the collection, so... Um, next up, what I'm going to be reviewing is this one right here, which is Racing Stripe. So let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. So this one actually was hardly even sealed. Um, like I said, I got these from eBay, so maybe something happened when they were in the box. I don't know, but um, nonetheless, there's the truck. Now I'm just getting out the wristband. Here it is right here, just a white one. So here's the truck right here. Now let's get into the unboxing. <clears throat> so... We have to focus better. As you guys can see, this is basically a zebra truck. Now, like I said before, this is the uh, third truck with this body style. We also have horsepower and sparkle smash. Now we have racing stripes. So um, the roll cage is black, and then the rims are black as well. But we have a white uh, white outline there. I'm not really sure if those would be called white beadlocks or not, but um, it is a white outline on the rims right there, which I think is really, really cool because black and white, obviously, like a zebra. Um, so here's the side of the truck right next to my thumb right there. It says Racing Stripes, and we have the Monster Jam logo. So here's a good look at it right there. We have the black and white stripes, just like a zebra. Then if you go around to the front here, we have the mouth going all the way around. And now here's the other side. We have the stripes again with the Monster Jam logo, and right there it says Racing Stripes. And then back here we have the tail, and up here we have, I don't really know exactly what that's called. It's probably bad that I don't know that, but I'm not really a huge, like I'm not really huge into animals, especially zebras, so I'm not really sure what this part would be called. But nonetheless, a very cool design, and definitely an interesting idea, but I think nonetheless Spin Master executed this perfectly. So let me get it to focus. There it is right there. One final look at Racing Stripes. I really like this truck. And um, just like the rest of these, I'm super happy to add this one to my collection. So there is Racing Stripes. So that is three down. We still have six to go. We're only a third of the way in. And we're already over nine minutes into this video. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me. So next up, we are going to unbox Tropical Thunder. So there it is right there in the packaging. And let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. So here's the truck right here. Let me just grab out the wristband really quickly. This one does not want to come out. There we go. So this one is yellow. Um, so, so far we have a red, blue, white, and yellow for this mix. But anyways, guys, let's take a look at the truck. So we have not seen this truck made in die-cast form in so long. Obviously, this is only the second year of Spin Master, but I don't think we've seen this truck since... 
I don't even know. Maybe, has it really been since 2013? It may be about seven years since we've last seen this truck um, be released in die-cast form. I could be totally wrong on that. I don't really know, but... Um, nonetheless, I'm super happy that Spin Master made this truck an amazing design, definitely a throwback, and since I've been collecting for a long time, since like 2011 or 2012, this truck definitely brings back some memories, but um, let's get into the review now, so we have a black roll cage, and um, we have gray rims with a blue outline right there. And now as for the actual truck, it says Tropical Thunder on the side here with a bunch of palm trees. And of course we have like a red, orange, yellowish color. Um, obviously for like the sun because Tropical Thunder. So like Tropical of course is sunny. Um, so we got the Monster Jam logo right there. And then it says Tropical Thunder on the back. And here's the other side, pretty much the same thing. It says Tropical Thunder with all the palm trees and the Monster Jam logo. It says Tropical Thunder on the hood as well. And um, yeah, that is the truck right there. Here is one final look at it. Sorry that it's way out of focus when I put the trucks far back like that. It gets way out of focus. But anyways, there is one final look at Tropical Thunder. So we are almost halfway through now. We have four down and five to go. The next one that we are going to unbox and review is going to be the Throwback Grave Digger. So let's go ahead and unbox it. So there's the truck right there. Now this is pretty much the same exact truck that came in the Gravedigger 5-pack. Um, so here's another wristband right here. This is a darker red, I think, or maybe it's actually the same color as this one. I don't know. I, it must be. I guess it is kind of the same color. But anyways, like I was saying before, this is pretty much identical to the one that was released in the Gravedigger 5-pack. So I'm not really going to review this one too much. Um, the two reasons are, number one, because I already have one. Um, it came in the Gravedigger 5-pack, and number two, because we're almost 12 minutes into this video, and I don't want this video to be too long, so, um, basically, on the truck, of course, there's not that much of a roll cage, because this truck is from, I believe, 1982, like I said before, so not much of a roll cage, and then the tires are slightly smaller than usual, uh, but not really too noticeable, and then we have yellow rims, and of course, on the side, it just says Gravedigger, I know a lot of people like this truck, because Gravedigger is a fan-favorite truck, so I will show it, but there's not really too much to talk about with it. I mean, we've seen this design made multiple times now between um, Hot Wheels Monster Jam and Spin Master Monster Jam. So, um, Grave Digger on the side right there as well. So here is a look at it. Here's the back right here. And then this side we already looked at. So here's a look at the top as well. The throwback Grave Digger. And now here is one final look at it again. When I put the trucks far away like that, it goes really out of focus. I don't know why, but um, yeah, there's the throwback grave digger. So we have five down. We still have four more to go. We have Thrasher, Reckless El Toro Loco, Backwards Bob, and the Ride Truck Megalodon. So I think the next one that we're going to get into is the Reckless El Toro Loco. Um, like I said before, this is my first ever Reckless truck, so I'm super happy to have this. Now let's go ahead and unbox it. So that was pretty easy. There is the truck right there. Now let me just get out the wristband. All right, so here's the wristband right here. Now this is a little bit of a darker yellow than the other one that was also in this mix. But anyways, let's get into the review of this truck now. So here it is right here. Now this is definitely a very cool truck. I think the Reckless series was a great idea by Spin Master. So all four of the tires are different colors, or all, all four of the rims, I should say. We have orange, purple, yellow, and gray. So that is really, really cool. Obviously, the Reckless series is supposed to be like, basically, I'm pretty sure what it's supposed to be is like, kind of like a junkyard truck like with grave digger it's like all of the different pieces of all of the grave diggers we've seen through the years and i think with el toro loco it's similar because we've seen red orange yellow black we've seen multiple different colors of el toro loco and obviously the four colors i just named are the main four colors on this truck so here's a look at the side you can see um a big mix of yellow orange black red <clears throat> excuse me i don't know what the heck is in my throat but Anyways, you can also see the flames right there. We got the Monster Jam logo and then the teeth right here. Um, on the back, it says El Toro Loco with some flames and then MonsterJam.com. And now here is the other side, pretty much the same as the first one. Again, you can see a big mix of all of the different El Toro Locos that we've seen through the years and the teeth right there. Um, and then here is the hood. We have the nose ring right there um, coming out of the nose. Or not coming out of the nose, but in the nose with the uh, flames coming out of it. And then here's a look at the horns. They are a bunch of different colors. You can see yellow, purple, black, orange, red, a bunch of different colors. 
And um, yeah, that is the Reckless El Toro Loco. Like I said before, I think the Reckless series was an amazing idea by Spin Master, and they definitely executed it perfectly. I'm really happy to have this truck. I did get this one before Grave Digger, like I've said a million times now. I still need to get that Reckless Grave Digger from Mix 12, as well as almost all of the trucks from Mix 12. So, um, anyways, that is six trucks down. We only have three more to go, and the next one that we were going to unbox is Thrasher. Now this one is kind of similar to Racing Stripes where the package is not sealed very well, um, but it doesn't, it doesn't really matter much since I'm unboxing them anyways. Um, anyways guys, here is the wristband. This is the only orange wristband in this mix. So there it is right there. And now here is a look at Thrasher. Now I know there is a bunch of different Thrasher designs. I don't know exactly which year that this one is from, um, but obviously this is the black and orange one. So we have a black roll cage, actually a gray base on this one, and then we have gray rims with an orange outline. So let's get into the actual truck. So it says Thrasher on the side right there. Um, we have the two eyes up there with the Monster Jam logo. It says Thrasher, a nice mix of black and orange and white as well. Um, here's the hood right here as you guys can see then it says Thrasher on the other side pretty much the same as the first one we got the eyes over there and the Monster Gem logo and then on the back here you can see it says Toyota.com and Wallingford I don't know what that is exactly but um yeah now here's a look at the top of the truck it says Thrasher right there and um yeah that is the Thrasher from Spin Master Monster Gem Mix 13 again I don't know exactly which year that one is from um, but nonetheless, an amazing design. One of my favorite thrashers that has ever been in Monster Jam. And I'm super happy that Spin Master made that one. Maybe we'll see some more thrashers in the future. I'm not sure. But anyways, the second to last truck that we have here is Backwards Bob. So let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. Now that one wasn't sealed very well either. I don't really know why, but again, like I said before, not that it really matters since I'm just opening them anyways. But uh... Here's the third yellow wristband of the mix. Um, not that it really matters, though, because they do not fit my hands. But um, anyways, here is Backwards Bob. Now, similarly to Tropical Thunder, Superman, and Thrasher, this was not a truck that I was expecting Spin Master to make, but I'm very happy they did. So let's go ahead and get into the review. So we have a black roll cage, gray rims with a blue outline. Now, this truck we have not seen in years either. I don't know when the last time... That this truck was released but similarly similarly to tropical thunder this truck gives me memories as well because this i think was one of the first trucks i ever got in my collection back in like 2011 or 2012 something like that but anyways it says backwards bob on the side right there um we have the uh fingers pointing we have the question marks all over the monster jam logo back there um here's the hood right here we have the guy on the on the front here and it says backwards and then here's the other side, pretty similarly to the other one. It just says Backwards Bob um, with all the designs on it that makes this truck what it is. Um, a very cool truck. This has been in Monster Jam for years now. Um, it says Here I Come right there on the back. Now, I don't really know if this truck still competes. I I'm not too sure. Probably bad that I don't know that, but uh, I don't believe it does. If I'm not mistaken, I don't think it does. But um, if it could ever come back in Monster Jam, I think that would be awesome. So... Um, yeah, there it is right there. Here's a look at the top as well. And there it is right there. One final look at Backwards Bob in focus. So, yeah, there it is right there. And now the final truck that we have here is number nine, which is the Chase Piece, the Ride Truck Megalodon. So let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. Alright, so there it is right there. Let me just get the wristband out. Alright, so here it is right here, a light blue wristband. So put that off to the side. And now here is the actual truck. So let's go ahead and get into the review. So obviously the ride trucks do not compete in actual Monster Jam, so they don't have the same roll cage. This truck actually has the same roll cage as that throwback grave digger. But um yeah, so on the tires we have BKT tires with gray rims. Um, so here's the actual truck. Now, of course, the truck is the uh, same Megalodon truck that we've seen be released for a couple of years now. But, of course, this is the ride truck. So right back here, we have the uh, section of the truck where people sit in right there where uh, people or fans are allowed to uh, ride in these ride trucks at um, some Monster Jam events. Not all of them, but some of the outdoor Monster Jam events during the uh, party in the pits, you're allowed to 
um, go in the ride truck. I'm not exactly sure how much it costs. I have never been in one personally. I've been at shows that have had them, but the lines are always extremely long, so I've never been on one before, so I'm not sure how much it costs. But um, yeah, right here is where the people sit, and then obviously somebody drives the truck around the parking lot where the party in the pits is happening. There's usually like a gated area where they have that, but um, yeah, there it is right there. Here's a look at the back where the people get in. And um, yeah, you can see all the seats in there. And yeah, that is the Ride Truck Megalodon. So there is one final look at it right there. My third ever Ride Truck. I have BKT and Grave Digger. I still need to get Blue Thunder. And um, yeah, so there's the Ride Truck Megalodon. So now I will show all the trucks right here. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it was a long one. My full mix reviews are always really long, usually anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. So if you guys watch this entire video, I really do appreciate it. And thank you guys so much for watching, like I said. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure you guys do subscribe. I am currently on the road to 2,200 subscribers. So if you guys could subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated. And then also make sure you guys leave a like on this video. Comment anything you guys want to down in the comments below and turn on post notifications as always and i'll see you guys next time